This is lesson 11-1-2. We're going to be multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So we're going to multiply rational expressions. We're going to divide rational expressions. So just a quick review. Just remember when we're multiplying and dividing any type of fraction. If we factor it, like we, we can multiply these together so we can combine it. So this is 2 times 8 over 4 times 6. Remember, like factors reduce. So I could actually break this down even more. You know, this is 2 times, and then 8 is 2 times 4. And then I have a 4, and then I could do 6 is 2 times 3. The 4s will cancel out, the 2s will cancel out, and so I'm left with 2 over 3. Now I know some of you guys have other ways, you know, you're like, oh, you know, 6 and 2 and 4 and 8, you know, that's that's another way, right? But I'm just visualizing to you that only factors reduce. When you have division, you have to turn it into multiplication. And you do that by doing the reciprocal of the second fraction. So that's 7 over 8 times 3 over 14. And then the same thing happens. 7 times 3 over 8 times 14. 14 is going to reduce. The sevens reduce, and so you get three over 16. And so right there, that's going to be my answer. So now, when we apply this to algebraic rational expressions, algebraic just means there's now variables and x's and things like that in there. We're gonna be doing the same thing. It's just, we have x's. We just need to remember, factors reduce. Adding and subtracting doesn't reduce. Factors are what reduce multiplication so in this instance this whole adding and subtracting right here right I have to consider this entire thing together for these to be factors now what parentheses right these factors will reduce well the x minus 5 and the x minus 5 will reduce and so I get 4x plus 3 over x plus 3 and so that is what it's going to be when it's reduced. Now remember, I'm not going to focus that on this lesson, but we still have to consider what can't x be for here and here. So x cannot be 5 or negative 3. Right? So we're not going to focus on that, but just remember that that still exists in this. So if this one, example number 2, we're going to reduce this. And so simplifying this, well, it's division. So I got to change it into multiplication. And now factors reduce. So the 9x minus 1s, those are going to cancel out. And so I'm going to be getting x plus 2 over 2x plus 1. For this one here. It looks like the only thing that we reduce is going to be a factor of y minus 2. And that'll still be squared. It doesn't look like anything else is going to reduce. This will not reduce with this. This y right here will not reduce with this y, right? And the reason is it says y plus 5. Adding and subtracting don't reduce. You have to consider it together because it's a factor. And so this we're going to get y minus 2 squared times y plus 5. And then I guess we have 3y times y plus 2. That's just our answer. The only one of those y minus 2s reduced. For this one here, now we're going to have to apply our own factoring to be able to do this. Now, we could either factor first and then do everything, or we can factor last and then do everything. So if I factor out a 5 on top here, you get x minus 3. This down here is the xbox method. And so, you know, you get 3x and x, and how many you get 10. So factors of 8, 1 and 8, 2 and 4. So it looks like if I do a 4 plus and then negative 2 
So negative 8 plus 12, yep, that's it. And so remember, we have to flip these. And so flipping this, I'll factor this one. So that's going to be x plus 4 times x minus 3. So it's on the bottom. So this one right here, that's x plus 4 times x minus 3 if you do the Xbox method. And for this one, we also have to do the Xbox method. And so, you know, the factors of 12 that add to negative 8. And so, say 3x and x. Let's see, we have 2 and 2. So if I put 2 and 2 there, negative and a negative. Let's see, 3x minus 2. Negative 2, negative is positive 4. That looks like it. Okay, so I know I did that quicker because this lesson is not about factoring, but just know that we would have to factor. You'd have to use the Xbox method. But now we have to see what factors reduce. The X minus 3s reduce. The 3X minus 2s reduce. And that looks like that's it. Because these are both on the bottom, they do not reduce. So you get 5 times X minus 2. And on the bottom, it looks like I have two of these X plus 4s. So I'm going to say X plus 4 squared. Last one, we have to go through and we have to factor. Now, because it's multiplication, I don't have to flip anything, right? You only have to do that on division. So what's in common on top? It looks like a 6. So you're going to get 2x minus 3. And then factor that using the Xbox method. That looks like x minus 5 and x plus 3. And then here, we're going to get x minus 4 and x plus 3. And then it looks like down here at the bottom, there's a 3 that's in common. And so if I factor out that 3, that looks like x minus 4 and x plus 1. Just double checking real quick. So it seems like it is. OK. So now, factors reduce. Here is a factor that reduces. Here is a factor that reduces. It looks like I can break 6 into 2 times 3 because now the 3's reduce. And so now I'm going to get 2 times 2x minus 3 over x minus 5 times x plus 1. And that's going to be my answer. So what did we learn today? We learned how to multiply and divide rational expressions but please, 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 please remember that the rules are the same with regular fractions. So you still, if it's division, you still have to flip that second fraction, right? You have to do the reciprocal. But factors reduce. Adding and subtracting doesn't reduce. It has to be in a form of multiplication for it to reduce. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.